हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर डिस्कसिंग द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इट इज व्हाट इज लाइट रिएक्शन एंड वी विल डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग द पी एस वन एंड पी एस टू लेट्स वी शुड कम ऑन द टॉपिक व्हाट इज लाइट रिएक्शन स्टूडेंट्स एज आई टोल्ड यू फोटोसिंथेसिस देर आर टू मेन रिएक्शन वन इज कॉल्ड लाइट रिएक्शन विच अकर इन द प्रजेंट ऑफ सन and second reaction is called the dark reaction which occur in the absence of the sunlight so let's we have to discuss first light reaction this light reaction is also known as photochemical phase reaction or photochemical reaction because chemical reaction occurs in the presence of the sunlight so the light reaction sunlight is present in this present of sunlight the number of chemicals are formed so it is called photochemical reaction students in photo light reaction we have three uh, important event and this important event number one is light absorption so green plant green plants are having the mesophyll cell and mesophyll cell contain chloroplast so that chloroplast absorb the solar energy sunlight is absorbed by the chloroplast this process is called the absorption of light or light absorption when it light is absorbed water molecule it break up and this water molecule is break up in the present of light it's called the water splitting and by this process oxygen is released by the splitting of water molecule so this is second process and third process in the light reaction is high energy chemical intermediates are formed atp and nadph this molecules are formed during the light reaction so thus light reaction we are having the four step first one absorption of light by the chloroplast or pigments second water molecule is break up third oxygen is released by the breaking of a uh, water molecule and fourth phase is the high energy high energy chemicals such as atp and nadph are formed during the light reaction students several protein complex are present are involved in the light reaction many pigments are organized into the two categories that is light harvesting complex so light harvesting complex that this is called the lhc this lhc are made up of hundreds of the pigments molecule and bound to protein so the light harvesting system we are having the two system lhc light harvesting complex and this light harvesting complex contain hundreds of the pigment and their chlorophyll a chlorophyll b chlorophyll c carotene xanthophyll such like of hundreds of pigments are occur in the light harvesting complexes in out of this pigment only pigment molecule of chlorophyll a it means pigment chlorophyll a it absorb the solar energy it absorb the sunlight and it is the reaction center but remaining pigment chlorophyll b chlorophyll c uh, xanthophyll carotenoid all these pigments are help to make the photosynthesis more efficiently by absorbing the different wavelength of light so these molecules are called antennae molecule or uh, accessory molecule only chlorophyll a absorb the solar energy but remaining pigment this help to make the photosynthesis more efficient by absorbing the different wavelength of the light so these are called antennae molecule or accessory molecule so students as a, uh, we uh, came to know that chlorophyll a molecule is uh, absorb the sunlight it is it is the reaction center the chlorophyll a molecule it's form the reaction center 
this reaction center is different in the both photosystem. So, there are light harvesting complexes with the photosystem 1, PS1 it is called and PS2 also it is photosystem second. So, the reaction center in different in the both photosystem. If we are talking photosystem 1, the reaction center chlorophyll A has a absorption peak at the 700 nanometer. So, in photosystem 1, chlorophyll A absorb 700 nanometer wavelength of sunlight. Hence, this pigment is called P700. So, P700 is a photocenter in PS1. Pigment 700, PS1, the reaction center chlorophyll A has an absorption peak at the 700 nanometer, hence it is called P700. It means chlorophyll A absorb the light by having wavelength of 700 nanometer. So, this pigment which absorb the 700 nanometer of light is called P700. So, P S 1 the photo center is P 700, whereas in P S 2 it has absorption maximum at 600 nanometer and it is referred as a P 680. It means there are two reaction center in P S 1 reaction center is P 700 and uh, P S 2 the reaction center is P 68. Students P S 1 and P S 2 details we are coming after this, but we must remember there are the two photo system P S 1 system and P S 2 system. So, in P S 1 system it is occur in the uh, stroma lamellae, P S 1 occur in the stroma lamellae whereas P S 2 occur in the grana lamellae. In grana lamellae both systems are occur P S 1 and P S 2 also. So, in light harvesting complex you will see the light photon, photon this comes the light from the sun it is absorbed by the chlorophyll A and other pigment molecules are there such as chlorophyll B, C, carotene. So, they also absorb the different wavelength of light. So, these are harvesting molecule or antennae molecule and reaction center PS1 reaction center is P700 whereas the P second, PS second the reaction center is P680. Then a second important part in the uh, light reaction it is the splitting of water molecule. As I told to you the splitting of water matter molecule uh, it occurs splitting of matter molecule is occur in PS second only. PS2 in this one splitting of water molecule take place. Second important part is here the splitting system it is splitting of water molecule it is located PS second it is located in the inner side of the membrane of the thylakoid. So, PS second splitting of water molecule is occur and this PS second is located on the inner side of the membrane of thylakoid. So, splitting of matter molecule this process is also called photolysis, photolysis. So, what is splitting of water molecule or photolysis? It is a process in which the matter molecule is break up in the presence of sunlight and it form the proton, electrons and oxygen. So, this process it is uh, called the splitting of water molecule or photolysis. What is photolysis? Matter molecule breaks up and it form proton, electron and oxygen. So, this is called the splitting of water molecule. In this one we uh, diagrammates represent the photosystem 1. In photosystem 1 or photosystem 1 PS1 light is absorbed by the P700. So, chlorophyll A it absorbs the light 700 nanometer light. So, photo center is P700 in PS1. Second important the chlorophyll get excited and electron is released from the excited chlorophyll. This electron is accepted by the electron acceptor. Then this electron goes to the electron transport system which is called ETS system. 
due to the gradient in ets system formation of atp take place in the presence by the uh, adp and phosphate molecule they combine and they form the molecule of atp so overall in photosystem one we have to understand it is photosystem one take place is tomalamily number two here photo reaction center is p700 number three electrons flow of the electron is a cyclic and number four here atp formation take place it is called the uh, atp formation take place in the present of light so it is called photophosphorylation so ps1 system it's a cyclic photophosphorylation second part sir, is ps second ps second uh, photosystem second and it is the z scheme of light reaction here you can see photosystem one uh, second so photosystem second lhc light harvesting complex uh, photo reaction center is p680 here lhc here first lhc it show p680 number two here lights when uh, absorbed by the pigment p680 then this pigment water molecule is split up molecules of water is split up splitting of water molecule take place and it release electron proton and molecule of oxygen this pro electron which is formed by the splitting of the water molecule it activate uh, it excited the pigments and it release the electron this electron is accepted by the electron acceptor then this electron passed toward the ets system electron transport system and this electron transport system due to the gradient here again formation of atp take place and then this electron it's moved toward the lhc second which is pigment 700 nanometer it means in such cases the electron which is emitted will not come back so it is non cyclic phosphorylation so ps second uh, we should uh, remember photo reaction center reaction center is p680 number 2 electron never come back on the position so it is non cyclic flow here atp and nadph2 formation take place so this is called a non cyclic photophosphorylation and fourth important thing is here molecules of water is filled up and it releases the oxygen if you will see the differences between the ps1 and ps2 so they are these are the major differences between the ps1 and ps2 ps1 photo center as i told p700 in this ps1 can go for cyclic photo phosphorylation atp formation take place and electrons come back on the same position pigments are located on the non opposed part of granite means they occur in stoma lamellae in this molecule of oxygen is not involved evolved it means no molecule of oxygen release molecule of oxygen is not released then ps1 system is occurs in the both cyclic and non cyclic uh, phosphorylation whereas in ps second reaction center is p680 in this electron do not comes back so it is called non cyclic photophosphorylation no atp formation take place and electron doesn't come back this occur in the grana lamellae and in this ps second photolysis of water occur and this photolysis of water it helped to release the oxygen so ps second lead to photolysis of water and oxygen is released so it is all about photoreaction or light reaction and ps1 and ps2 system thank you